Hello, you lovely Mario Maker person. My name is Steve and welcome back. You probably noticed by now already, but a new theme park opened in the Mushroom Kingdom last weekend called Bowser's Adventure World. The press reviews were mainly negative, stating that all attractions are way too dangerous, some even lethal, but I talked with some visitors of the theme park and those who survived usually liked it. While there are tons of cool attractions in the theme park, like a house of mirrors or bumper car driving, the coolest attractions are of course the roller coasters. And because of this, we will take a look today at all the different attractions that feature skeleton roller coasters. You ready? Let's do this! Our first attraction is called the 100 Piranhas and One House. Once Mario paid the entrance fee, he enters this room. And this is the moment where things become dangerous. He's forced to trigger this skeleton roller coaster, which will stack all these piranhas on top of each other. Poor Mario. His only chance of surviving this funny house is by triggering the two other skeleton roller coasters in the right order, as this will force the P-switch to become triggered and kill all the fire-spitting plants. Here Mario has to race a skeleton roller coaster if he wants to leave the attraction alive. While our plumber tries not to slow down, the skeleton platform will do everything possible to stop him. But if Mario manages to survive, he will be rewarded with an exit door. This one is called Riding the Wave and while riding a bullet blaster builds wave sounds like fun, that's sadly not what this attraction is about. It is more about not getting crushed by the wave than riding it. I hope Mario knew this before he paid the entrance fee. Let's quickly talk about the skeleton roller coaster basics. The blue version moves faster than the white one and will never drop down, while the white one will carry our plumber only for a short amount of time. The same is true if you put your skeleton roller coaster on tracks. The white one is slower and will drop down, while the blue one is faster and circles around forever. So this idea is pretty self-explaining, pretty epic and not mine. Someone left me a level ID in the comments that featured this trick and let's face it, it's an amazing trick. If you want to play the level, I'll leave you the ID in the description. Shout out to YouTube user Whales are cool for showing me this trick. So here we have a skeleton roller coaster tower. All Mario needs to do to escape this one is to jump, jump and jump. While this sounds rather easy, the spiky walls make it actually incredibly dangerous. I'm serious, it's incredible hard. It took me like forever to record it. But when I finally did it, I was smiling. I'm actually not a huge fan of roller coasters. In my opinion, they are driving with your car off a cliff simulators. But as there are people who seem to enjoy it, let's have a look at this Mario Maker roller coaster that does not only simulate the lethal feeling, but is actually really dangerous. This attraction contains a small puzzle. Mario needs to find a way to ignite this pop arm. Luckily, the cannon that blocks the bullet blaster bill can be moved and then the Pogobo Fireball does the trick. Now all our plumber needs to do is to trigger the skeleton roller coaster and he is finally able to leave. Wait, what? The exit is blocked and there are Goombas everywhere. Of course, nothing is ever easy for Mario. But if he survives until the P-switch expires, he actually really is allowed to leave. Okay, so here Mario is in a small climbing park. That can't be dangerous. All he needs to do is to run to the left so that all skeleton roller coasters get triggered and simply make his way back to the right. Finally, something relaxing. I mean, okay, the platforms are moving really fast and yeah, there's no floor, but still, one of the better attractions. This is another neat little trick. Our plumber needs to stay on the skeleton platform while springs and bumpers try to bounce him away. Bowser first wanted to build this attraction with winged hammer bros, but the local authorities said that's sadistic. So he went with this design instead. And now, let's have a look at the small carousel design.
I really like this one. Mario needs to survive until the P-switch appears, which will open this door for him. So here we have another small minigame. Mario cycles up and down on this roller coaster while cannons shoot at him. He needs to jump at the right moment so that he survives this cannon wall. The only problem is that it looks like there is no end to this nightmare. But that's fortunately not true. After a while this spiky clock will trigger the P-switch and a door will magically open for our plumber, allowing him to escape. Here Mario has to solve a small puzzle. He needs to get the P-switch to the left. And this is only possible if he triggers the roller coaster. While the skeleton roller coaster is blocked by ground tile, it is still possible to trigger it. You only need to try hard enough. Once the P-switch got triggered, this bob arm is ignitable, allowing Mario to reach the upper floor, to trigger the thwomp and to escape this attraction. And now, it's time to have a look on my favorite idea, or shall I call it a glitch? But before I explain, watch. Okay, this one is pretty self-explaining and one of the coolest mechanics I've seen in a while. While I have no idea how to make use out of this glitch, I think it's a pretty fantastic one. And that's it for today and for skeleton roller coasters and for theme parks. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially roller coaster today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. The next video will be the community ideas and it will probably take a little bit longer than usual until it's done as I currently have a lot of real life work to do. But I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!